Hi children and welcome to our class and today's class we are going to learn the concept connection that is types of sentences. Let's see that. See page number 192. Concept connection. We all love to listen to stories, tell others about our day or watch movies. In all these we use hear words used in sentence. In all these we should use and hear the words using the sentence. We should make the sentence and tell the others. So did you know that are there many kinds of sentences? Okay. And today's session, let's learn more about them. Okay. And first to see the types of sentences. A group of words that makes complete sense is called the sentences. Group of words makes the complete sense is called the sentences. A sentences must begin with a capital letter. Sentences must begin with a capital letter. It can end with full stop and question mark and exclamation mark. It will end with full stop, question mark and exclamation mark. Right? Let's see that. Command. Let's see the one by one. First we are going to see the command. Commands are the types of sentence in which someone is being told to do something. Command is a types of sentences and which is someone being told to do something something someone is told to do something others okay and the command sentence usually begin with a verb command sentence usually begin with a verb it's, it starts from the action verb and the listener to understand the action required we should do that action that is called the command let's see the example don't talk don't go anywhere. Sit down. Shut up. And get out. Everybody clear about that? Now see your book. Command sentence usually begin with a verb. The listener understand the action required. For example, get me a glass of water. Okay. And see the next one. A short command spoken to someone is called an order. Short command. Command and order is the same. A short command spoken to someone is called an order. It usually ends with an exclamation mark as it requires immediate actions. It usually ends with an exclamation mark. Okay. For example, keep quiet. And see, let's see the another example. Stand in line. Go and get me the water. Shoot the enemy. Do your homework. This is short command. Okay. And see the next one. Request. An act of asking politely or formally for something. A request for information. An act of asking politely or formally for something. That is called a request. And see the example. Please listen to me. Kindly shut the door. Please give me a pen. Could you help me? This is the example for a request. And see a book. A request can end with full stop, question mark or exclamation mark. A request ends with full stop, question mark or exclamation mark. When we want to politely ask for something, we make the request. When we want to politely ask for something, we make a request. We mostly use please. Request form. We mostly used please. Okay. And see the example. Please pass, pass the salt. Can you please bring me a towel? This is the example for request. And see the example once again. Please listen to me. Kindly shut the door. Please give me a pain. Could you help me? This is the example for request. And now everybody do the practice on question. See page number 193. State whether the following sentence are request or commands. Write R for request. C for command. So please get up and finish your work. So please means yes that is request. Can you bring me some food please? Yes. This is also a request. And will you please take the garbage out? Yes. Please means request. Right or. So command means the verb usually begin with a verb. The, the starting verbs comes that is command. Right. Okay children. And see the next one. Choose the correct verb from the box to complete the sentences. Remember to use the correct tense. The first one, the earth dashed around the sun. The earth 
moves around the sun. The sun dashes in the east. The sun rises in the east. Vegetarian do not dash the meat. Vegetarian do not eat the meat. A liar is someone who does not dash the truth. Tell the truth. A liar is someone who does not tell the truth. And the next one. A novelist dashes the novels. A novelist writes the novels. Okay children, I hope everybody completed the practice on questions. And now it's time for homework. And today's homework is complete page number 78 in your workbook. Okay, everybody complete page number 78 in your workbook. Once you're done your homework, post it in Google Classroom. Grade 3 English. Stay safe and stay home. Eat healthy food and drink more water. Thank you children.